time to to look around um, as you wish. We don't we don't have to hurry. My feeling is that we're here on our own behalf, but also in a sense of doing a favour for those who have been unable to come. Relations, uh, loved ones of those who are buried here, who have never been able to make the journey. And on behalf of those who are buried here, who have never had visitors, for whatever reason. We meet in the presence of God to remember our friends, colleagues, fellow countrymen, or members of our families who lie here buried, and all former prisoners of war who have since died, particularly those dearest to those present. The words in this service are taken from both the Christian and Jewish traditions. We bend our knees and bow down and give thanks before the King, the King of Kings, the Holy One, blessed is God, the one who spreads out the heavens and made the foundations of the earth, and whose precious dwelling is in the heavens above, and whose powerful presence is in the highest heights. The Lord is our God, there is none else. Our God is truth, and nothing else compares. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between nations that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who are prisoners of war and for their families and friends to await their return. God, full of mercy, who dwells on the heights, grant proper rest in the wings of your divine presence, in the lofty abode, in the holy, pure environment, to shine as the brightness of heaven, to the souls of our friends buried here, and who met their death in war. We pray for the elevation of their souls, their rescue, so the God of evil. Therefore shall the master of mercy care for them under the protection of his wings. They all try and bind their souls in the bond of everlasting life. God is their inheritance, and they will rest in peace. And let us say, Amen. Amen. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, <coughs> nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Our four former prisoners of war like to read in the morning. Perhaps we can have a minute or so of quiet. There is a sense for 
those who believe in or have a hope for eternal life, there is a sense in which those who have died are not dead in, the, in every sense of the word. And even for those who are not so sure about eternal life, for those who have died, who were close to us, there is a sense in which they are always with us. And we are constantly reminded of those people in many ways. And this poem is about that. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there, I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow, I am the diamond glints on snow, I am the sun on ripened grain, I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circling flight, I am the soft starlight at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry, I am not there, I did not die. Ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from imprisonment of war into the freedom and peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict, and ask that God may give us peace. For the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, each remembered by and known to God. God give us peace, God give us peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss, may God give us peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, and for all the innocent who are imprisoned, remembering family, friends and all who pray for their safe return, may God give peace. For civilian women, children and men, whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity, God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace.
Tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today.